Are you looking for a case that doesn't break the bank but protects your phone? Today we're taking a look at the Spigen Tough Armor case for the iPhone XS Max. Hi everybody, this is Andrew from T is for Tech. Today we're taking a look at the Spigen Tough Armor case for the iPhone XS Max. Now, I've used these cases a lot in the past um, for my phones. Um, I have one also for the Galaxy, Galaxy Note 9, and they're a great case. Um, Spigen makes really inexpensive cases, uh, and I'll have to check the price that this one is currently going for on Amazon. Um, but I, I've been using it for the last month or so on my iPhone XS Max, um, which is right here. So uh, as you can see, uh, just standard uh, iPhone in black. I do have a dbrand uh, camouflage skin on the back of this, um, which I got to talk about because I have had some issues with this. But, but the phone itself um, you know, has been well protected. Uh, with the speaking tough armor case it does have a nice little kickstand so that you can uh, prop your phone up and not have it flopping all over the place if you're if you're into that sort of thing when you're watching videos or, or consuming uh, media one thing i don't like about the case is the hole in the back i would rather have had it just uh, flush with the surface because uh, as you'll see on the dbrand case uh, the dbrand skin that i use this this little tiny lip here makes a makes an indentation on the the skin. So um, I would have rather, and it also lets in dust. Um, so I would have rather had this just uh, completely flush. Um, but other other than that, I mean, this case is pretty nice. It is a two part two piece case, right? So it does come apart, as you can see. It's got the plastic, a little bit of harder plastic outside, and then like this rubber uh, TPU material on the inside. Um, so that's that's nice. The one thing that I don't like about the back of the case is that it does gather fingerprints, right? Um, if you're looking at it, it's it, it it really gets oils and whatnot from your fingers. So you can see here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it, it it just always looks dirty. Um, that's that's one thing I don't like about the case. If it came in some other sort of um, uh, you know texture than other than this then i think i would have liked it more and i don't know i haven't tried one of the like the other colors that they offer that that might be better but just something to be aware of that this this matte finish here does collect a lot of fingerprint oils so again um you know pretty well you know offers a lot of protection i haven't dropped this one yet um i hope i don't have to, i hope i don't drop it um, but but I have dropped the one that I have for my Galaxy Note 9, and it and it did a, a fine job of of keeping the phone from getting damaged. So you know it works really nicely. You just kind of pop it in, um, stretches and, and pops in there. Um, as you can see, this fits nice and snug. Got the stand stand action here. Unlock the face ID. And as you can see, yeah, you know, it's, it's it's pretty nice. It's a it's a pretty nice case. The angle that it that it that it uh, kind of holds the phone up at if you're if you're watching it is is um is a pretty good angle, as you can see. Um, and and overall, you know, I, I, for the for the price, I think it's a good case. It's a definitely a good option. Um, if you're looking for something with a little bit of more protection than a slimmer case, and uh, you know something that does have the kickstand, um, like I said, the only two negatives that I that I feel that for this case, uh, in my mind, it's the fact that it has this open back, which I don't like, um, and the, the fact that the it collects fingerprints. So thanks for watching my two-minute tech review of the Spigen Tough Armor case for iPhone XS Max.